So now that we have our product view model out of the way, this is everything we're going to need to interact with dispensing, refilling, and, refilling, and emptying our items. So now we need a payment view model like we discussed in the slides. So we're going to go to view models, add class, payment view model, whoops, payment view model. It's going to add this going to create it to a public. It's going to, just like our last class, be derived from our observable object, which reminds me we need to rewind for a second because we forgot something, didn't we? If we go back here, we haven't been updating any of these, and thankfully this should actually be quick because everything, all the information that is going to be updated in the view is going to be updated whenever our quantity changes. So here we'll go to our quantity, our public field of, or public property of quantity and go to it set. And whenever it is set, we want to notify properties have changed. So on property change, we're going to do, yes, an out of stock message, inventory display and quantity. So we're going to do call our on property change from our parent class. We're going to say out of stock message. So this will notify that our out of stock message visibility may have changed. So we want to update that and check if it's uh, if it's going to be different based on the current state. And we're going to do an on property change of our inventory display. And then we're going to do an on property change of our obviously quantity that we have changed. So sorry about that little brain fart, but that happens a lot actually. You'd be surprised how often you forget things. So hopefully that taught you not to or taught you to uh, pay more attention unlike me. So now we are actually going to go back to our payment view model. And this is where we're actually going to jump into uh, using and inserting money. So we already have, like I forgot, we have our observable object. So now we want to create some customer information. So this will be information displayed to the customer using the machine. So we're going to have a private double. This will be total. So this is the total for the product that the customer is requesting. Then we're going to do another public double inserted. This will be the amount of money the user has inserted. And actually, this shouldn't be public. This should be private. And then we're going to do another private double. And this will display the change that will be dispensed back to the user. Then we're going to have some machine information, which is only going to be one field. And this is going to be a private double called bank total. And this essentially is going to show how much money this machine has collected. So again, like we did for our product view model, we want to access some of these properties to be displayed in the view. So one of them is going to be a public double of total. Here we're going to say get, and we're going to return our total. And we're going to also do a set. And this is where we're going to set our total to the value. And so we don't forget this time, we're going to call an on property change of our total. And you want to make sure we do a property change total of our public field, not of our, our private, or of our not of our private field, but of our public property. Then we want to do the same for our inserted and our change. So I'm going to quickly type that up. It's going to be almost identical. Okay, so I cut the video just because uh, it was simply just repetitive typing. So everything we did with total, we're going to do exactly the same for inserted change and bank total all of our private fields we have above
So on each of these we will return the private field and set the private field and notify a property change of our public property for them. Okay, so I'm pausing just a second just for anybody who wants to pause the video and uh, type all that out. And now we're going to create a uh, constructor by doing CTOR tab tab and here we're just going to set all the values by default. So our total is going to be zero, our inserted is going to be zero, our change is going to be zero, and our bank total is going to be zero. Okay, probably the easiest part of this tutorial. And now we're going to create a public void to insert money. So uh, whenever we want to insert 25 cents or 50 cents, this is going to be the method we call. So insert monetary value, and we're going to create a public void called insert, and it's going to receive a parameter of a double, and this is going to be called value. So this is the value we are inserting in the machine. And here we simply will say inserted and make sure you you always want to access the the public property so it can be updated to the user when this uh, method is called so we are going to do inserted plus equals value next we want to set the total to requested item cost so set the total to requested and we're going to create a public void called selected price and again it's going to receive a parameter of a double called value and here we're going to say total equals value just like our insert then we're going to have a method to confirm that the payment can be made. And we're going to conveniently call this, and it's going to be a return a bool because we're confirming. So we want to return whether or not this is confirmed. We're going to conveniently call it confirm. And here we're going to say if our inserted is greater than or equal so if the inserted money is greater than or equal to the total of the requested item it's going to return that confirmation is true and if not it's going to return that confirmation is false then almost done here we just got to do a public void now of pay and here we're going to call this when after confirmation this is going to say okay now we're going to pay for the product we're going to have a public void of pay and in here is where we're going to say change equals our total minus our inserted our bank total is going to plus equals our total so we're going to add the amount that we just of uh, the item that we just bought and then our inserted is going to be back to zero and our total is going to also be set back to zero and lastly we're going to create a public void called collect and in here all we're going to do is set our bank total back to zero which kind of is simulating that we collected the money. And I guess to better simulate that, we'll do a console right line. And we'll say collected payments. And we'll just have it print to the console that we collected a payment of our bank total. 